Hey guys, it's the YouTube guy. Today we're going to be talking about some universe size comparison. Now, trust me, this this took lots of work. I mean, here, 26%. Wow. Good. Yeah, this is size comparison. So let's go. Let's start with the smallest. So on the smallest scales, we have a neutron star over there. The neutron stars are almost the second most dense type of objects over here. We're just gonna write one of them to make it easy. Then on this, on the right, we have 2014 UZ224. Small dwarf planet candidate. It, and this picture may look big because it's well compared to a neutron star, but actually it's pretty small. Even a Pluto. And so it's smaller than Ceres for sure. It, it, and it's only 330 miles wide while Ceres is 600 miles wide. So this is much tinier than Ceres. But Ceres, Pluto is almost twice the size of Ceres, which means four times the size of UZ224. So in this picture, it's gargantuous. Not really, actually. It's it may it may tie up with the moon over here, but not Earth. Well, this is not t this is Earth. I don't know. I thought I was learning blue, but then I may have done Neptune, but I'm not doing Neptune. So, but if you're guessing which one's that's Earth. But if you're guessing which one's Jupiter, it's that. It's actually bigger than a than a red dwarf star. And that red dwarf star is called, I keep forgetting its name. It's like E by Spy 7 AB. But it's the smallest main sequence star. It's even smaller than brown dwarfs. And speaking of brown dwarfs, we're on the layer with brown dwarfs. So we have Jupiter here again, tied up with an oddball object called Tato 1, which is, which is type T brown dwarf. Roman 16A on the right of that is an is another is also another brown dwarf, but it's L type. Gliss two Pro, Proxima Centauri's on the right. Here's Proxima Centauri again, tied up with the largest red dwarf star, Gliss two two nine A. Gliss two two nine B, another brown dwarf, orbits the star, and that we have our own big, huge ball of burning gas called the sun. And guess what? Th they have a buddy about the same size, and it's also pretty bright. Yep, I'm talking about Sirius A. The sun and Sirius A. The so Sirius A is not, actually not much bigger than her sun, but the, there are some people who are bigger than those guys. Here's her sun, and here's Sirius. Over here is the red giant, well, going to be red giant in a few million years, Pollux. And it's currently fusing helium. While over here is Regulus, and yeah, I know it's white. But that's not the end of it. Regulus is also has its other companion, well, not companion, but size companion, Arcturus, which is, which is currently shedding its outer layers, and it's going to die. Right next to Arcturus here, we have Polaris, or the North Star. It's a blue giant. It's a main sequence blue giant. Uh, on the right of that, we have Aldebaran, the largest red giant. Well, sort of lar largest red giant. Okay, yeah, I, and here's Low Cassiopeia. It is, it is a main sequence supergiant star, which means it's like Beetlejuice, except it's in its main sequence. Yeah, Aldebaran's over here again. And here's Rigel. And Rigel is, uh, is, is the largest blue giant star, but it's still pretty tiny. Well, compared to Beetlejuice on the right of Rigel, and then on the right of that, we have Antares. They're both red, regular red supergiants. But that's nothing. That's, that's Antares over there. This is V.Y. Canis Majoris, a hypergiant. But in this case, it's not really a hypergiant compared to U.Y. Scutai, which is an ultra hypergiant. Though it's less massive than V.Y. Canis Majoris, it's more brighter and it's more epic. 
But stars aren't the brightest objects over here. We, first of all, we have some we have um, some rare old black hole right on right on the right of here, and it's found and it's also named after the galaxy it's in. I think some rare old, but it's definitely. Never mind. And here's the supermassive black hole at the center of our galaxy, Sagittarius A. But it's not. But Sagittarius A is well an average size black, average size supermassive black hole when it's compared to this gargantuous black hole called Tun one six sixteen eighteen. And yeah, it has a lot. It has a ton of stuff. Get it? Ton? Ton? And believe it or not, this is weird, but we have an average-sized planet, an average-sized star, and an average-sized galaxy, as well as an average-sized black hole. Isn't that weird? But as gargantuous ton can be, it, it is pretty small compared to the Oort cloud, the outer, the the spherical ball that's in the outer reaches of our solar system, the outmost reaches. But it is still pretty tiny compared to these nebulas. Well, first of all, here we have the Stingray Nebula packed up right against the Butterfly Nebula on the right of that. So here's the green one is, well, I, this is a Google slide, so I can't get the exact shapes and colors, but... Uh, that's it. The green one's stingray, and the and the one on the right is butterfly. Here's butterfly again, and it makes sense that um, that the, that this is a pelican nebula, and it's obviously bigger than a butterfly. A pelican. The one on the right of the pelican nebula is is called a tarantula nebula. And yeah, it is pretty humongous and creepy. But its stars weren't that creepy. Wait, there are no stars in it. Oof. But and it but this is Large Magellanic Cloud. Yeah, I know it may look like some angry guy shouting, but it isn't. It's Large Magellanic Cloud. Or Small Magellanic Cloud. Here is Small Mag Magellanic Cloud compared up with Triangulum. Another, the smallest spiral galaxy, and then our galaxy, the Milky Way. Yeah, I know it's purple. But our galaxy is also average, and well, you can say tiny. Here's the Andromeda Galaxy, and here's the supergiant, gal supergiant elliptical galaxy called IC1011. IC1011 is still small compared to the local group. The local group is gal the galaxy cluster and um the smallest galaxy cluster in the whole universe that includes our galaxy the Mil milky way oh yeah and they're actually not rated by size it's not actually this big here's a small magellanic cloud here's a tadpole galaxy here's some other galaxy that's some other galaxy that's ic11 that's triangulum that's andromeda that's our galaxy that's small magellanic cloud what Oh yeah, you can get confused for stars with this. But this is our local group group over here, paired right next to the uh, Virgo group. And then here, the red one, we have the Boss Great Wall. Wow, no wonder it's so big. Here's the Boss Great Wall again. But then we have the Corona group. Coincidence for right now, huh? And then we have the Omega group, but the most gargantuan galaxy cluster and the largest thing, well, besides the universe that we know of, is the Hercules Coro is the Hercules Borealis Corona Great Wall. Wow, big! It, wow, that's pretty big, and yet, you, and yet you still can't go on a road trip. Wow. Well, without getting tired. But, yeah, thanks for watching, and I hope you had fun learning all about the size of the universe. If you learned something new, give this video a like. If you really like my videos, hit the subscribe button. It really took a lot of effort and work to do this, so I don't think you have to do anything about it. But I'm just telling you, so bye.